Okay, you guys, welcome back to Peter Sime Log Cabins. Um, I'm gonna let you know right off the bat, we are currently booked until right around spring 2023. Although, uh, we will catch up on some of that. So if you wanna get, get a hold of us, it is 740-739-8000. So that phone number is 740-739-8016. All right, now this is something different. I told you guys we got some different builds coming up and the one after this will be different too because it'll actually have a bump out cabin off the back for like a, um, I guess like a sitting room and it'll be off the living room. So it'll completely open up the whole living room of the cabin. But back to this one, this one is the wood cabin. It is a 14 by 52. Um, it is a three bedroom, two full bath. Something like this, you're looking around 85,000. The COVID prices has, has hit us hard on wood. Uh, if you guys bought wood lately, and you'll know that. This one does have three dormers. Those dormers run about 32 to 3,500 a piece. And those things are awesome. I'll take you in and show them to you. It's, it does have a six foot by 52 front porch. And on the back side, it does have um, just a roof. And I'm gonna take you back and show you because the customer is gonna have, pretty sure I was told it was gonna be a concrete floor. So this, this one's gonna sit on a basement foundation. And then as you can see, it's an eight foot. And they're going to have their own pillars and stuff like that. I'm not sure how they're going to do that, but I was told the floor itself will be concrete. So that's pretty nice. Um, this is on the front. You can only go, or actually if you have a porch floor, the porch floor comes out, it flips up, porch roof flips down. It can only be six foot. If you do something like this, you can go eight foot because it actually flips down all the way down to where the porch usually sits. So that's how you can get away with an eight foot porch on the back. Now, a video doesn't look that big. When you're standing up there, that eight foot, it's it's pretty big. It covers a lot of a lot of space. All right. Like I said, it is the four by six logs. It is a 14 by 52. With three dormers. Something like this should look about 85. Now, as I take you in, this does have a catwalk. So you're gonna see, you can put a bedroom up there. Now, I know I know bedrooms are supposed to have walls and, and closets and all that, but this could be used as a bedroom. That could be used as a bedroom up there. Then you got your catwalk. Then you got a room in the back. Now, this is the last time I'll be able to film this cabin before it leaves, because it's leaving next week, but it will have a railing all the way around it. And the kitchen will be on the back wall. So your kitchen will be back here in this area. And then you'll have a bar that runs out. And all in here will be your living room space. Now, if you look on the floor right here, you'll see electric coming out. Now, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like a dishwasher and some other components come up here, but there's gonna be a bar that sits right here. And if I'm not mistaken, the kitchen will, or the, the, the sink will be in this bar. Now they're gonna send me pictures of it um, as they progress in this kitchen. And then I will post them up for you guys on, on Facebook. But the kitchen will be that on that end. And then you'll have your living room all right here in the middle. You got your two big windows, your kitchen window in the back. And then you got your slider here. I don't know if it's gonna be a slider or a French door. Okay, take you in the back. There is a laundry room right here. Do you have a window? You have access to the basement, which will be right here. This is your first full bath. Will be right here. Well, it'll have a shower in it. Then you walk right into your master bedroom. This is right here. You will have a closet. And then right back up in there is your bath, your master bathroom. 
right back, that is your access panel to get into it. So we have a closet in here, which is right there. You have a big window right here. And then you have, looks like your shower is going to be back in that corner. I don't know if it's going to be a shower tub or what it's going to be. But this would be considered the master bathroom. Walk back in here, the master bedroom. And you'll walk through another door. Got your um, washer and dryer room, your full bath or your bathroom, and access to your basement. And then here's your living room kitchen area, which is pretty good size. And there is your dormer. And that dormer really, really opens up that ceiling. Really opens it up. Take you over here to this one. As a three foot dormer, three foot inside. So from here to here, you're talking three foot. Looks a lot bigger on the outside, but the inside is three foot. Now, as you can see, a lot of this covers it up. This having this room up here in this catwalk just kind of covers everything up. If you didn't have that, you would have the full effect from floor to ceiling. And then dormers make a huge difference. Makes it feel big, real big. Gonna go upstairs. Walk up and down. And you can see how big, what a big difference these dormers make. You can walk right out, boom, you can see. And these windows do open. They are functional windows. So I'm standing in the dormer now. It really opens it up. And then if you want to, you can do a shed dormer off the back. You can take it off to the top and run straight out. And if you want to, you can go as long as you want. 8 foot, 10 foot, 16 foot, whatever. Open up the back side of it. And then, there's your other one. Now, these dormers come off, so they'll have to be craned off here, put on a trailer, and then when it gets to your, where it's gonna be set up, they're craned back on site. As you can see, it's a full log dormer, not, not a stick-built dormer. And then we got another one down here. Beautiful work. And you can go, I'm 6'2", and I probably have at least 10 inches above my head. So you can come in here and stand. And you can also put some kind of bench down here if you just wanted to make it a little reading spot or whatever to look outside, get you a view or whatever. But this is the wood cabin. It is a 14 by 52. I'm standing up in here right now. Like I said, I got about 10 inches above my head. So it's taller than what it looks like in this video. These dormers are nice. Really opens it up. All right, if you guys need to get a hold of us, it is 740-739. 8016. We appreciate you guys uh, checking us out on Facebook and watching our videos. If you have any questions, just give us a call. There's another picture of that video of the back porch. And like I said, this will be on a hinge, so it'll just hinge all completely hinge down. Then when it gets this destination, you can just put your pillars up. Like I said, it's got a concrete floor. Or you can put your own, whatever kind of floor you want. Gravel, brick, block, concrete, wood. But that's something you can do uh, when it reaches your end. If you want that eight foot instead of the six foot. All right, guys. Have a nice day.